Welcome back. When a child gets sick or injured, unfortunately, some families don't only have to worry about the recovery of their children, but there's also concern about the cost. But there are ways to help. And here to tell us about some special grants available to help families with medical expenses, we're pleased to welcome Paul Brophy, Executive Director of United Healthcare in Kentucky. Thank you so much for being with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Good to be with you, Christy. We hear so much about medical bills, and especially for families with children, how unexpected and, and devastating that can be. But there is some help available available through the United Healthcare Foundation and we'll start I guess by telling us about the foundation and, and why it was formed. Yeah, so United Healthcare is certainly passionate about helping people live healthier lives. So back in 1999 they incorporated the United Healthcare Children's Foundation which is a 501c3 so it's a nonprofit organization. Uh, so not technically a part of United Healthcare, uh, but it's a it's an organization that's got a national board of directors and it's been set up and funded uh, both with internal contributions. We actually have a, um, uh, an annual campaign, so all of our employees contribute. And then we've also got uh, outside people, along with the, you know, the strong support from United Health Group, that formed this foundation to, to help uh, needy children. And tell us about the Children's Foundation grants and how those can help families. Yeah, the grants, uh, Christy, have been set up for uh, certain procedures that may not be covered uh, for, for children. So to qualify, um, the child just has to be under 16 years of age, be a U.S. citizen, and then have commercial coverage. Uh, there are certain economic conditions they need to meet. But if they meet those conditions and if there's something that they're not covered under their commercial health plan, then they can make an application to get a grant. And then once that uh, has been reviewed, if the grant is a given, they can start submitting bills to get things covered. So, and I say commercial coverage, and I, I want to point out that the child doesn't have to necessarily be insured with United Healthcare. As long as they have some commercial coverage and they submit the application, it will be reviewed. And what are some of the, the things that the grant money has been used to help families with? Yeah, great question. So, um, so think of a child, uh, it could be a child that simply has a, has a sight problem or a, or a hearing problem, uh, can, two conditions like cerebral palsy, autism, et cetera. Uh, but it will cover actually appliances, could be glasses, hearing aids, wheelchairs, and then uh, different therapies, so occupational therapy, you know, type uh, therapies, that type of thing. Uh, so if it's not covered by their commercial plan, they can apply and we will actually cover those. And we've been running a website across the bottom of your screen for the foundation if you're interested in learning more. If folks are interested in applying, what do they need to do? Uh, what they simply need to do, so www.uhccf.org, as you see on the screen, they can simply go to the site, make an application. Well, once that application is received, there's actually a regional board. There's a regional board uh, decision-making process. And the important thing to point out is this regional board typically will have you know, local business people, doctors, attorneys, uh, local business people. And there's at least one pediatrician on the board as well. So they're, when they're reviewing the applications, uh, they'll make a decision. Once the family is notified, they can start sending those bills to the foundation and be reimbursed for that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share this information. Again, you see the website there at the bottom of your screen if you're interested in applying. But as he mentioned, it is a nonprofit. So if you certainly aren't in need but feel moved to, to give and support the cause, folks can do that as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I would highly encourage people to go to the site. And I will tell you, in 19, or in 08, 09, we only granted nine uh, uh, grants here in Kentucky. And throughout the country, last year alone, we, we granted about 500. So I'm hoping you'll go to the site and uh, make the application if there's a need. Certainly so. Thank you again All for right. being with us today. Thank you. We will be right back with a check of the forecast. It may be the unofficial start of summer this weekend, but the temperatures are already following suit. Meteorologist Mary Watson is up next with those details.